Hi again, here we are to continue talking about HTML, CSS, and absolute and relative position. And what I'd like to do is kind of follow this up just to make sure that we understand exactly how absolute position is working and relative position. And here's what I'm going to do um, just to kind of use this with float and some of the other things we talked about. Um, let's set up a container here for main, okay? Or set up main as a container, right? So remember, you know, we're going to set main. I, I made my boxes 400 pixels wide, right? So I might have to change this a little bit to make sure they fit in here. Why don't we make main, give it a width of um, 1,000. Okay, there we go. That's a good number. And then um, let's make, give it margin auto, right? So now I've got a container here. And, you know, um, there's my box there, right? So now imagine I want to put three of these guys side by side inside main. Okay? So uh, let's go back here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the width here to calc 33% minus, and then I'm going to give it a margin. So let's make it minus um, 20 pixels, right? Okay. Um, and then we could make the height the same, but maybe I'll just leave it at 400, right? Okay. And then, like I said, I wanted to add some margin. So I'm going to say margin of 10 pixels, all right? And then also I want to float the boxes so they, they line up left to right and then wrap, you know, and create kind of a grid. So what I'll do is I'll say, you know, float left, okay? Um, now that I've got them floated, you know, let's actually copy them. So here's one box here. Remember, it's inside main. So I'll add the next box below and another one and another one and another one. You know, we can have as many of these as we like. They can just go on forever. And there's our boxes, right? So now they all line up. And notice each box is its own frame of reference because each box is relative position so that child objects or descendant objects always reference their box. So this guy's in the upper left corner here. He's not in this guy's upper left corner, right? And this one's in the lower or upper right corner, right? This is in the lower left corner for each box, right? So anyway, um, hopefully that may, maybe helps you kind of clear up how relative and absolute position works. Um, and thanks for watching.